Hi friends, welcome to day three of my fun card class series going December 1st through December 5th, 2022. My name is Wendy with Love and Stampin' and I'm excited that you're here with me. Um, we're making the third card in the series today. We're making five cards all together, one each day. And uh, at the end of that, if you place an order between December 1st and December 5th of $50 or more, you'll get all of these card kits in the mail. So you'll wanna place your order before it's over. Okay, let's make this card. We are going to use, uh, we're gonna start out, we are using the Christmas Scotty set. Now I do wanna say that the Christmas Scotty um, punch is on sale. 30% off for $13.30 at the time that I'm recording this. These are while supplies last because these are last chance items. So if this is gone when you're watching this, I'm super sorry, but the only way for me to do these videos was to record them in advance. So if this is no longer available, I apologize. Um, unfortunately, I'm sure it's gonna go quick. So if it is still available though, you're gonna get a great deal on the punch and the stamp set is so super cute. So let's go ahead and make this card. I'm gonna start with the brick and mortar embossing folder and I have a piece of basic black cut at three and three quarters by five. So we're going to emboss this. I'm gonna use my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're going to remove all of the platforms except for number one. And then we're going to put our embossing folder down and add platform number four. And go ahead and run this through the machine. Alrighty. Get that out of the way. And now we have our piece of basic black that is embossed with that beautiful brick and mortar embossing folder. I have a piece of basic black cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11. And I am going to score this at five and a half. Your card base will be five and a half by eight and a half because it is easier to mail. And then we are going to add this piece of embossed cardstock to the card base. Now, we are not gonna include a piece of copy paper to go on the inside. You can, you can use any piece of white paper or cardstock that you want, but you'll need to do that and cut it for the inside so that you can write a note or you can leave it black and you can write in silver or gold. Okay. So there's the first layer, and I, as I said, that's three and three quarters by five, and then the card base. And then I've got some of that gorgeous Gingham Designer Series paper, and we are going to layer this right on top at an angle. So I'm going like probably a half inch or so up here and at an angle, and then we're going to layer this piece right over the top of that. Kind of lining it up at an angle as well. And then we'll open up our card base and you will have this designer series paper in your card kit, so not to worry. And we're just gonna trim all of the excess away. It is actually a little bit difficult to see because it's black. <laughs> All right, so there's the bottom of our card base. And then we're gonna do a little stamping. We're going to use a stylish shaped circle. I've already cut it out and it's ready to go. And we will die cut that piece for you. And I'm gonna use black to stamp my Scotty dog. And I chose to use the image where the Scotty dog is kind of like looking back over his shoulder. And I chose to use the Stamparatus because uh, I, if I needed to stamp again, I would be able to. However, that turned out fantastic. So 
Now we're going to use Real Red ink and we are going to stamp his little bow. So I have his little collar piece here. I'm gonna stamp right there. And then I'm gonna ink up the little bow piece and stamp it right there, like that. And then we're gonna cut it apart and stack it onto this card. So we're going to add the circle piece with Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we're going to cut this apart. You can't always get away with this with all sentiments because some of them like the words overlap and so you can't cut them apart really clean, but we were able to do it with this one. So we've got our Mary. and our Christmas. So those are just gonna go right here. And we're gonna use little baby mini dimensionals for that sentiment. And then on this one, we'll just put a dimensional at the end. And then we'll add a little bit of adhesive at this other end and just kind of fold it over. And then we've got Christmas, Merry Christmas. Now I'm going to use my Smoky Slate Light Stampin' Blends and just go underneath this puppy to give him a little something he's standing on. I think it's always fun to add a googly eye to this puppy dog because his eye just doesn't quite do it for me without the Google. So, gotta add a googly eye. And look how much, that is just amazing to me how much it brings it together. Okay, then for some added extra touches, we're gonna use Wink Estella for his collar and his bow because of course he's got shiny bits. And then we'll add some gems. Now you're gonna have a free pack of rhinestones. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these iridescent pearls on this card, but you can use rhinestones and they'll be gorgeous. Or if you have iridescent pearls and you would rather use those, by all means. Um, I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna leave it at one down there. Okay, so that's it. That is the card. Super cute, super fancy. I absolutely love it. And I actually cased this card from a card coming up in the new celebration brochure. So that was fun. So this is not anything like that card, but um, I kind of got the design idea from there. Okay, so this is the third card in this series and you will get a kit that will have five different cards in it to make when you place a $50 online order using this host code that you see on the screen. That is $50 before tax and shipping. These will ship out after December 5th and we'll get them in the mail to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.